people talk about the new Jerusalem. People talk about Jerusalem. People talk about the New Jerusalem. People talk about the New Jerusalem coming down to earth, and it's going to have uh, streets paved with gold, like God gives it about gold. Jaren. It's going to pave the streets of the New Jerusalem in gold. Jaren. You can tell Jaren. every word of the Bible is written by man, and it's conceived of in the mind of You're man. You're making a mistake, bro. You can tell. It would be a city with a street of gold. Jaren, yeah, stop. let's do it's, it's so dumb. It's not what it it's says. It's so stupid. Jaren, and people not what it says. Uh, can't see it. All right, so Jaron's at it again. He's uh, bringing up the streets of gold again and saying that he's correct completely disregarding what i've said in my previous videos so i'm going to address it again and as long as he keeps bashing the bible cherry picking through or gish galloping and then cherry picking and um misrepresenting the bible i'm going to keep coming after him i'm going to deconstruct jaronism oh look at jaron he's a straw man in god and he's a no, I'm not straw man and God. I'm straw yeah, man and yeah, man. Maybe he, who tell you about God, if it's even a straw man, it's, which I don't think it is. Mm -hmm. It's not straw man and God. What he said I was straw man and God about real quick, just so you know, is something everybody believes. I said. Is something everybody believes. I said. Can you believe this? Everybody believes. There's a uh, an appeal to consensus logical fallacy there, Jer. Haven't you watched Nathan Oakley over the years? Man, he did a great job of, of always talking about logical fallacies. That's akin to lying, Sharon. Logical fallacies. That the streets of the New Jerusalem would be paved in gold, as if God cares about gold. And this guy goes off and makes videos for days. Yeah, because that's your straw man. See, it's very tricky. Everybody would agree with you. Yeah, God doesn't care about gold. So you make the Bible appear to be concerned with gold. Like it's trying to entice you into heaven based on uh, your love of gold and riches. That's the fraud that you're doing. It does not say that. And this is one of your proofs that the uh, Bible was written by men. Well, you conveniently leave out all the scriptures and you left out my rebuttal. You have yet to clear the record. I would like to see you clear the record on this. Come forward, acknowledge the points I've made, and I'm going to make points. Let's see if I can make my points right now. Okay, but before I get started, um, here you can see I have all five of uh, my uh, verses up. And I just want to say, he will never admit that this is true. You know, why would God entice people? For the love of money is the root of all evil. Why would God entice people that love money if they're going to be evil coming into heaven, right? It makes absolutely no sense. And um, you can't serve God in money because you'll love one and hate the other. Why would God be enticing people into heaven that are going to hate the truth? that are going to hate good righteousness so again makes no sense and the reason he can't admit this is because he has jaron has an agenda an antichrist agenda to put down the bible so if he admits this and says okay well you got this one right then we're going to take on the next one which is the next one jaron bring me your best one and i'll debunk that too this is why he can never admit this and people are going to say it's his opinion p -Bain. This is not opinion. This is, and let me just bring up too, like you take a shot of Jaron wearing his NASA shirt and somebody could take that out of context. Go, oh, look at Jaron. He's actually uh, believes in this, uh, spinning space ball and blah, blah, blah. And he believes in uh, space. You, you would say, um, well, no, he doesn't. We know Jaron. I'm just taking this at face value, just like we're taking the Bible at face value. Let's take what Jaron says or who he is over the past eight years, right? You would say, no, that's ridiculous. We know he's a, he's a flat earther. He's anti-spinning ball. He's against NASA. He's, it's, he proves that it's all fake, right? But this person cherry picks out of his live streams. Oh, there he is wearing a NASA shirt. Well, this is part of the context, Jaron. The context is who you are. So I get accused of, oh, Jaron just has his opinion. Let him have his opinion, P-Brain. Well, if this person who cherry picked Jaron wearing a NASA shirt said, uh, that Jaron is pro-space, he's pro-heliocentrism, he's not a flat earther, and he says, well, that's just my opinion. Would you guys stand for that? No. You'd say, well, no, that's not your opinion. You're wrong. You can't say that about him. We know him, right? Well, that's what I'm saying about the God of the Bible. You can't just say that's your opinion. You're wrong. That's not, God is not about uh, enticing you to heaven based on the love of money. So that's why it's not just enough to look up verses about what does it say about the streets of uh, the New Jerusalem or whatever. You got to know the, the you got to know who God is, 
who is character. You got to know God's character. So, and, and what they really stand for. So, Jaron wearing a NASA shirt is clearly uh, being ironic. He's being um, sarcastic. He's mocking. It's having, he's having fun. He's, he's wearing the thing that, you know, is the joke. It's a joke to wear a NASA shirt. But you wouldn't know that if you just grabbed some pictures from a Jaron live stream and saw that uh, he's wearing a NASA shirt, right? You would, you could make all kind of assumptions, wrong assumptions. Well, that's what he's doing here, but I believe he's doing it on purpose. But we'll see if he'll come clean. I'll say he won't. He'll still deny this and just make fun of it and poo-poo me and whatever. But, you know, we would all say, no, Jaron believes in flat earth. And so we would, by taking the context, and that's part of the context, is knowing who the person is. And God is not for, and the Bible does not support, enticing people into heaven and we're bribing them into heaven based on riches. Okay, let's go. Okay, so the first one. Revelation 21.18 says, And the building of the wall of it was of jasper, and the city was pure gold comma that's a big comma right there jaron like unto clear glass and revelation 21 21 says this is what he's talking about the streets of gold okay and the 12 gates were 12 pearls every several gate was of one pearl and the street of the city was pure gold comma as it were transparent glass now it's not just saying clear glass it's saying transparent glass that's the key. That's what this whole thing is about. It's about telling you that heaven is going to be transparent as opposed to how criminals like it, right? Criminals like to do things in darkness. They like to do things behind walls, behind closed doors. They like to redact documents, meaning black out things that they said, hide it from view so nobody can see. Let's go to the next one. And there shall be no night there. So in the New Jerusalem, there's no night. No need of the candle, neither light of the sun, for Lord God giveth them light, and they shall reign forever and ever. So God's light lights up the place. However that is, I don't know. doesn't give you a whole lot of information. Remember, the Bible is one book. Uh, my New Testament is about 300 and something pages, I don't even know, and the Old Testament's about 1,000 pages. It's spanning thousands of years. Do you know how many books are written every day in the United States? I saw something that's like, uh, almost 3,000 books a day are printed in the United States. 270,000 or something per year in the United States, either printed or published, because now we can do all kind of online publishing. The amount of books is crazy. Here the Bible is one book. So God's just giving you, when he gives you something, he wants you to know it. That's all. It's not a complete history, because if you took all those books that are written by man, and multiply that by the amount of years that the Bible spans, you, you'd have so many books, you couldn't, you couldn't even walk. We'd be crushed under books. So remember that about the Bible. So there's no darkness, there will be no night there, and God's light will light it. All right, let's go to the next one. Now, you claiming that God wants to entice people into heaven, this goes completely against Scripture, and you, won't, you will not clear the record. Here's King James Bible from uh, 1 Timothy 6.10. For the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some coveted after, Jaron, they have erred from the faith, not that you ever were a believer, and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. I have a feeling uh, that's describing you right there. But anyway, for the love of money is the root of all evil. Let's go to the next one. So God is hardly going to entice people or want people to come to heaven who have a love of money. He's not going to say, come get all the money you want. Like, that's how Jaron has uh, um, characterized it. So, no, that would make no sense. And then here we have Matthew 6, 24. No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he'll hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. Mammon is riches, as I understand it. Uh, this says, you cannot serve both God and money. Remember, you're going to love one and hate the other. What does Jerem love? Seems to love money. All about the money. Who does he hate? The God of the Bible. This is about you, Jerem. And there's another scripture, I'm, I'm not going to bring it up, also in Revelation 20, I think it's Revelation 21, but right around these uh, scriptures where the New Jerusalem comes down, no liars, no cheaters, no whoremongers, no adulterers, no... None of these people, but the 
One you got to listen to, Jaron, is no liars. And you're lying by withholding the truth. You know what they used to say when you go to court? I don't know if they still do, but they say the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. You are straw man in God because you change the issue into where Revelation is talking about coming to this transparent good place, this place of good. You turned it into God trying to entice us there for love of money. And then you beat up on it and say, you know, oh, like God gives two craps about money and blah, blah, blah. And then you, and that part's true. So you say that and people agree with you. Yeah, you're right. God doesn't care about money. But you mischaracterize the Bible caring about money. It doesn't care about money. It's the opposite. It says, look, for the love of money is the root of all evil. And you can't love God and money because you'll love the money and hate God. Why, why would God entice? That makes zero sense. It's not scriptural. Yet you're going to continue on, and I'm calling you out right now, instead of just calling me names on your show, like you do, go ahead and finally address this. Or any of you Jaron fans, bring this up to Jaron, these scriptures. Okay, so let's, let's keep going. Oh, Jaron, straw man and God. It doesn't actually say that he, the streets are paved in gold. It says the streets were solid gold, as it were, transparent glass. Big deal. Big deal? Did you actually just say big deal? <laughs> That's the whole point. It's about transparency. Have you ever seen solid gold that's clear as glass that you can see through that's transparent? <laughs> I mean, you, what did you just say? Let's see. Big deal. Big deal. You don't, if you look up the New <laughs> Jerusalem streets, what do you think they're going to be? What do they if you look up the New Jerusalem streets, okay, <laughs> what do you think you're going to find, Jaron? You're going to find a bunch of drawings from people, uh, some artwork. What do you think they're going to look like? New Jerusalem streets. I wonder what the... And he's like, oh, Jaron believes in Google. The Google, Google also says that the Earth is flat. We're not paying... I mean, the Earth is a globe. We're not paying attention to that. That's not what I'm saying. No, we are paying attention to that, Jaron. I am. That's what the ballers used to say. We used to laugh them out of a room when they'd say, oh, just Google some pictures of the Earth. No kidding. They're all going to be balls spinning balls in space. This is what you just did. How are you getting away with this? Why isn't somebody saying, at least, Jaron, at least be honest in your debate or stop throwing all these logical fallacies out? This, this is fallacies in your reasoning, errors in your reasoning, Jaron. That's what a logical fallacy is. It's either a deliberate, sometimes it's used as a tactic for liars. That's what the ball earthers, we've always accused them of using logical fallacies. That's what they do because they're representing a lie. You're representing a lie, trying to make the Bible say something it doesn't say and then straw manning it. And then, you know, saying, yeah, God doesn't care about money. And we all agree with that. And nobody's looking into it to call you on it, call you out on your, the way you're misrepresenting what the scripture says. Let me back that up. We're not paying attention to that. That's not what I'm saying. I'm talking uh -huh. about this particular issue. Everybody says that the streets will be made of gold because the Bible says that. Okay, wait, watch this little fade out he does here. Let me play that again. Everybody says that the streets will be made of gold because the Bible says that. Because the Bible says that. Did you hear that? Says that the streets will be made of gold because the Bible says that. Because the Bible says yeah, that. You want to believe That's like Obama else used to realize... do. Remember he used to, he'd whisper at the end of his speech. He'd say something and then he'd go like this. He'd try to appeal to you with whispering words. Please call him out on this nonsense. Streets will be made of gold because the Bible says that. <laughs> now, if you want to believe something else because you realize the problem with that, that God doesn't give a shit about gold. Yeah, no kidding. Let me back this up. I'm talking about this particular issue. Everybody says that the streets will be made. Okay. Here's another thing about the Bible. Do you know that most of all those, maybe, I don't know how many Christians they say there are, they maybe two billion identify as Christian. That's crucial. They identify as Christian. I think there's like two billion. There's a lot uh, in the world, that, right? You know, God says that people are going to come to him in the day of judgment. Lord, Lord, we prophesied in your name. Lord, we cast out demons in your name. Lord, we did this and that. He's going to say, depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I never knew you. You know what he also said? For the way is narrow, and few there be that find it. The way is narrow, 
does a quarter of the world Christians or half the world, whatever it is, being Christian, does that sound narrow to you? No. You know what that tells you? They're frauds. There's a lot of fraudulent Christians. This is what Jaron likes to point out, too. I'll tell you right up front, there's tons of fraudulent Christians. You know, the vast majority. We are few. It also says oh, the way is narrow, and broad is the way that leads to destruction. So, and this deconstruction movement is broad. This is how they've gotten our country. This is infiltrators. And Jaron tries to say that I'm with the powers that be. They love me because I promote their Jew God, he says, or whatever it is, their Jewish book. No, Jaron, you're the one that's with them. They despise Jesus. You understand that? The Antichrists despise Jesus. You're on their side. <laughs> this is a joke, right? Okay, so let me back that up again, and let's go. Another issue. Everybody says that the streets will be made of gold because the Bible says that. The Bible says that. Now, if you want to believe something else because you realize the problem with that, that God doesn't give a about gold, humans do. Yeah, you do. <laughs> it's apparent. So it's just clear who wrote the Bible. It's clear. No, the streets are clear. And the city was transparent. <laughs> In every essence, there's nothing divine about it. Oh, nothing. nothing divine. I love one time he said, there's nothing godly that the, that the Bible does. There's nothing godlike. <laughs> Only created the whole world. Go to Genesis 1. This guy's a clown. He's an absolute clown. Okay, so that's, that's it on Jaron. His appeal to consensus that, oh, everybody believes this or that. It, it's ridiculous. If you guys aren't calling him out, then you're part of the deception. You're enabling him to keep bashing the Bible. You want him to stop? Call him out on it where he feels foolish and he'll shut up, hopefully. Unless you guys want to hear him bash the Bible. There are, there's a, I'm sure there's a sect among that are antichrist also that are his followers remember the the when um flat earth they knew flat earth was going to break when the internet came out people were talking about it and talking about it and back then they couldn't control it like they can now so now what they did was they jumped ahead of it either they have shills they have paid shills they have guys like jaron all i know is the vast majority of the big flat earth channels are antichrist so they knew it's going to break. They'll give you flat earth. What, what they don't want you doing is coming to the Bible, to Jesus. That's, that's, that's who they hate more than anything. I know Jaron's trying to paint an opposite picture of that, saying that they want you to go to Jesus, but look at what he's doing. Look at the fruit of his research or his arguments. He is not doing due diligence on purpose because if he did search it out, and he did a thorough examination, he might be converted. You might be converted, and he doesn't want that. He has an agenda against the Bible. He wants to, to destroy people's faith in it, whether he's paid, a paid opposition, or, and a gatekeeper or not, I don't know. But he's doing all the things of that, either spiritually or for money or whatever it is. Um, yeah. So that's it for now on this. Call him out. Somebody call him out. I, I showed you the proofs. Here, I'll put them all on one page right here. So you can copy this. Uh, the, all the Bible verses I just put up that show that it's not about money. That's a lie. He's lying. All right? All right. So stay tuned for more. Okay. Bye.